Hey guys, what's up? Phil here from iPhoneTouchBella.com. Today I got a quick little tutorial for you guys on how to get the most security out of your iPhone or iPod Touch's passcode. Now by this I mean usually when you go to set your passcode, it's numbers. It's like four numbers. Well now I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this. Letters and numbers, full keyboard, longer than four digits, and the best part about this mod is you do not need to be jailbroken. As you see, I'm not on my iPod Touch. No hidden categories, no anything, I'm just not jailbroken here. So, this will, all you're pretty much doing is creating the configuration file using a file straight, uh, using a program straight from Apple, sending it to yourself via email, and opening it on your iPhone. That's all you do. So what you wanna do first, is you wanna download the links in the video description. Um, First, try running the iPhone configuration utility, which is the first link, and then try doing the um. And if that doesn't work, then have to, then you will have to do the .NET. Um, the .NET takes forever to install, guys. It took me about 10-15 minutes to install something. It was a few megabytes. So yeah. So after if after you have the .NET installed, which I already have, you want to install that program. It's the iPhone configuration utility. Now. It is, the publisher is Apple Incorporated. This is made by Apple. Which is pretty cool. So, yeah. It'll install everything. Alright. So we're just going to get through the process. But, um, like I said, all you're pretty much doing is emailing yourself a file that you create with this program iPhone configuration utility has been installed so has been successfully installed on your computer, whatever. Hit finish. Now go to your start menu and you want to find that new iPhone configuration utility. Mine is right there. And you want to open it and run the program. Alright, and it looks very Apple like. It almost looks like iTunes. Now, what you want to do here is hit on the side here, go to configuration profiles. Okay. Hit the new button at the top. And profile name, you name it whatever. I'll name it IPTB. Okay. And identifier, you will need one. Just do anything I'm going to do. IPTB. Wait. IPTB. There we go. And you don't have to put anything here. It's all if you want to. And here I'm just going to put passcode tutorial. Alright. Now, you'll see a series of tabs running along the top right here. You want to hit the passcode tab. Hit configure if this little pop up comes up, which it should. Hit configure. And here are all your settings about your passcode. Now, you want to set it to require passcode on device. You want to check that off. Have it checked. Allow passcode val uh, allow simple value. Keep that checked. Um, require alphanumeric value. This means that you would need letters and numbers. Have that checked. Minimum passcode length and minimum number of complex characters. You want to keep those both at zero. Um, minimum passcode age and days. Now this is kind of controversial. If you want to have to be able to change, have to have to change your password every once in a while, put the number of days right here. If you keep it at zero, then that means that it will never ask you to change your passcode. So if you want to change it in like a week, you would put a seven right there for seven days. Okay. Next, we have the auto lock in minutes. Keep that to zero if you want your auto lock to never, which I usually keep mine to. And maximum number of failed attempts. Um, I like keeping this at four or five, so it's not too low just in case I accidentally misspelled my passcode. And not too long just in case somebody gets lucky with some guesses later on. So I like to keep it at either four or five. I'm gonna do four here. Once you're satisfied with all the results that you put on, you wanna go at the top here and hit export. And you want to export it to somewhere where you're going to know where it is. It's just going to save the configuration file. So a good place to save it would be your desktop. And name is something that you won't forget. I'm going to name mine tutorial. Okay? 
Now you want to hit save and you can close out of that program. All right, now you want to open up your internet browser or however you email and go into your email client or Gmail for me, the Gmail website. Okay? Now you want to get compose mail and compose the email to whichever account that you access through the mail app on your iPhone. So mine is my Gmail, so I'll just send it to myself. Subject, you can put anything I'm going to put config tutorial. Okay? Now, where it says attach file, you want to attach that configuration file that we made. So look for it. Mine's right here, tutorial. Double click it to attach it to that email. Now, in the body of the email, you can say whatever you want. I'm just going to type a lot of random stuff, as you see there. But now we're going to double check everything. So you want to have, you want to have the to address whatever one you check via your iPhone. Your subject can be whatever. Uh, make sure that you do have that um, attached and make sure you have something in the body. It doesn't matter what. Now hit send and it will send, your, send yourself that email. As you see, mine is right there. Now go on your iPhone. Now you want to go into your mail app or however you check your email on your iPhone and mine's on 3G right now so it's, I'm waiting for it to connect to my Wi-Fi, hold on it's coming one second guys <laughs> it's coming slowly but it's coming There we go. And at the top there you see the config tutorial. Open it. And you'll see tutorial.mobileconfig. Open that. It'll open it on your iPhone in this other, I think it might be the settings app. Okay, and you'll get this configuration file install profile. Hit install. And this little pop-up will come up. Hit install now. And this is where you set your passcode to whatever you want. But it has to have both letters and numbers. So I'll do IPTB for iPod Touch Bala 900. Because I have a little over 900 subs right now. And hit next and type the same thing in for the second one. Alright. And then just hit next. And it'll make sure they match and it'll install that profile. Hit done and you're done. You can go ahead and test it out. Lock your phone. And when you go to unlock it, it'll ask you for your passcode with both letters and numbers. Remember mine was I P T B nine hundred. Alright? Hit OK, and it's unlocked. So this is just a quick little tutorial. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Hopefully this becomes useful, especially if you like go to practice or something like that, and your iPhone is in a place where it can get stolen. It'll be a lot harder for people to get into your passcode because they don't have to guess four random numbers. They have to get a whole, pretty much words, sequence, everything like that. So Phil here from iPodTouchBaller.com. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.